do, do. Good morning. So, how are we doing? How to overcome fear is what we're talking about today. How to overcome it, the types of fear, and what you can do today to help with that. So, what I want you to do is, if you're on live, do like, share it. If someone you know will find this helpful. Um, if you're on replay, drop a replay below. Let me know what you're up to um, today and if this helps. So, think of fear here or discomfort as um, it really is when you think about it. So there's three types. There's pain of loss, there's the pain of process, okay, doing the work, and then there's the pain of outcome. So we're going to go through these three and how to think differently about this. So if we think about this in here, the pain of loss, like by changing something, by doing something differently, we fear that we might lose something. Maybe we'll lose friends and family. Maybe if I stop drinking, I'm going to lose friends and family. Maybe I'll stop binge eating. Maybe if I stop... If I start exercising, maybe people will think less of me. Maybe I'm, I'm not living up to my name that, or that I tell myself that in a subconscious, you know, I'm lazy, I have no willpower, and I'm starting exercising. I lose respect of others if I don't go out and drink all the time, whatever it is. And these are things that come up a lot. Am I going to waste time, money? How am I going to fit it in? Now, it's interesting because we're, the questions we ask our brain, we're asking our brain, we are asking our brain to look for reasons why we're going to fail here, essentially. So no wonder we're going to feel rubbish doing it. And we know that by releasing these emotions, this can impact our physiology. So this could really impact our physiology from blood sugar levels to weight loss to stress management. So it's only fair that if you're considering that question of what could I lose from this? What's the drawbacks? Go straight to what could I gain? What's the opposite of losing here? What could I gain from this position? Could I gain someone's respect? Who could I be an inspiration to? What if the people around me who I think I'm going to let down actually need to open their eyes to this and actually I'm going to be the one to inspire them? What if that was true? How do you know which one is more true? We don't really know. What if, what could I actually get time back from adding this in, like meal planning? Yeah, I don't have time to meal plan. What if I could actually get time back? What would I do with that time? How would I spend it more with kids? What could I do differently in here? Think, we, you know, we often think our life is easier, you know, without planning or without journaling because we get time back. It feels good short term, but that actually makes it hard. It leads, it, it leads us to basically dictate how we feel on our, on our emotions. It could even be the weather. We know that generally people have better days when the sun's out. Like, are we going to leave everything up to the weather? It's probably not a good thing in the UK. Um, so then we've got the pain of process. This is like doing the work. Uh, you know, it's, it's too much hassle. I can't fit it in. It's going to be hard. I can't, I don't know when I can do it. There's no time. It, I get anxiety around it. I'm not good enough. I'm not sure it's for me. I feel like, you know, I should do it. But these are all signs that we're fearing doing the work and the pain of the process. And that's, that's normal. Because remember, whenever you try and change, your brain has this unconscious, subconscious, that it wants you to stay. It wants you to stay like that because it's easy. Things like brushing your teeth, things like um, making your coffee in the morning, putting your jumper on, getting changed. You do it such on autopilot that you get a bit of a dopamine hit from it. It feels good to do it because you don't have to think about it. Driving, etc., as well. Ultimately, you can just be on autopilot in here. That's one of the reasons why it feels good. And it's the same with these habits where we're trying to change. That's why that monkey on your shoulder will try and get you, claw you back sometimes and go, you're, you're in control of your comfort eating at the moment. But you know what? One won't hurt. Um, you know what? You deserve it. Why are you being so boring? All these things start to come in. Mate, what if I can't stick to this? We're asking questions that are going to lead our brain to want to be right, because our brain loves to be right. So we're going to look for answers to this. If you ask questions like, let's look at the pain of outcome. Is it even worth it? If I go through all this, if I go to the Fruity Fit sessions and I work really hard, I, I get my exercise in, I tone up. Morning, Tracy. I tone up. I start to focus on what I can do. Is it even worth it? Like, is it even worth it? If I get results, if I lose two stone, if I lose a stone, if I lose a pound, if I get a bit fitter, if I get a bit stronger, is it even worth it? Will I be able to handle it when I get there? What if I do the work and it still doesn't work? What if I show up every day and I'm tracking things and it still doesn't work? And we're asking these questions in our brain and we're creating, essentially creating a future that 
we're going to live up to really because we love to be right um um i always give up after four weeks it's just me it's just in me and then that four weeks comes told you giving up told you and something just clicked and it's because we keep saying it we, we keep saying it and we we're literally creating this it didn't exist now it creates and we know this from research like it's fascinating. There's studies on bicep curls. So I'll use a fruity fit pen to bicep curl to show you what it is. But bicep curls, they had half the group do um, actual bicep curls with a weight. And they had half the group just imagine, mentally rehearse it. And people who mentally rehearse it still got managed to get contraction in their bicep, which is fascinating. And they did similar things with piano. Like some people mentally rehearsed um, the piano. Other people actually used the piano. And again, brain neurological pathways created that wasn't there weren't there before that which mirrored the people who actually used the piano which is fascinating so we know that our brain dictates this there's a study in type 2 diabetes um people on insulin half the group watched comedy half the group watched a boring lecture that they had no interest in then they had a meal then they tested um their blood sugar response and the people who watched comedy had a lower uh, spike than the people who watch the boring lecture and it just shows the emotions we're releasing have such an impact on our physiology you know we might know someone who's well, you might have done it yourself you know i got myself in such a state i was physically sick our brain can really impact what we do and the questions we ask sometimes have to change on it so what if it is what if i'm just disappointed when i get there what what if what if i do get there though that's scary too right what if i'm not the lazy one anymore what if i'm now fitter or if I'm now stronger so these are things we always need to consider in there now how do you overcome this then well the only way through this is through it like we have to look at who would suffer if you don't get a handle on this what happens five years from now if you just let that fear overcome you what message does this put out to others what who will I be a, a lesson to or for or do I want to be an inspiration? You know, we can leave two marks on life, right? We can be an inspiration to someone or we can be a lesson to someone. A lesson of what not to do or an inspiration of what to do. And then we, we have a choice to an extent with that. And what I want to finish with, with this is that to do this today, to do this to, just for today, and when we get into that stage sometimes of, I'm not sure I can keep this up, I'm, I'm not... I'm, don't know if it will work for you. All this thing. Just do it for today. And have a little motto, if you like, today. To change what if to even if. You know, we say things like, uh, what if I'm not motivated? What if I'm not nervous? What if I'm nervous? What if I cannot be bothered? What if it gets hard in the dark? And all these things. Change what if to even if. Just see how your brain responds to that. Remember, awareness is the first part of this. All these studies show that if we can become more conscious of our, of our environment, of what we're doing, we can override the subconscious and conscious habits of you know, things from, we don't want to do it with things like brushing our teeth because that makes it easy, um, but things like eating when stressed, this is where we want to be more conscious. How am I feeling right now? Why, why am I doing this? What am I looking to get from this? Write it down. Text someone. Ring someone. Go live on Facebook. <laughs> Um, so swap for even if, even if I'm not motivated, I will do it anyway. Even if I am nervous, I'll show up anyway. Let's just be curious what's on the other side of doing it, even when you're not motivated. Even if I cannot be bothered, I will show up. Even if it gets hard, I'll still do it. Then you actually cannot lose as you'll only learn and get feedback from this. And just know that it takes about, on average, five times to go through the habit, the habit change wheel of contemplating change, taking action, the planning of it, actually seeing the change and then relapsing. You can relapse or you can terminate it. And actually, ultimately, when you relapse, you go again, you go again, you go again. It takes about five times for that to start, to even start to become subconscious. So that takes time, but just keep working on it. Anyway, ramble over, have an awesome day and weekend. I will see you later. If you found that helpful, uh, let me know. Any questions on that? do let me know. We have our reboot program starting again soon. Ladies over 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80. You want to get in shape, get fit, but have fun doing so. Develop a more in control relationship with food um, on that as well. But it's about showing up today. That's it. Small habits, compound effect. And I'll see you soon.